today going to attempt cloud skin makeup. Trend or trick? Not every cloud has a silver lining. Some leave you in case in ice. How you doing, you old pirate? So good to see you. But this is a new hope. This is not the Empire Strike Back. So let's see. It's that mix of being a little bit minimalistic, very matte skin, and then in a sandwich that becomes a cloud, elevate us. It's a rebranding of an old trend. Been sleeping really well, but I still had some eye bags. It looks better. I guess you guys were doing something. The first step, it's moisturizer. It's always important to have moisturizer, but apparently it's like extra important today. We're gonna take a matte primer, we got it, and mix it with the foundation. So it makes it and it's supposed to make it fluffy. Does make it fluffy? Let's do one pump without that. Just move it around to see how it looks. Oh no, yeah, yeah, it does make it fluffy. With the primer, without the primer. So with the primer, it does look like more fluffy. There was BS, but no, it does. Okay, this is a good start. And then just put it on your skin. So it's supposed to look soft matte person behind this new trend is makeup artist and I'm sure you have seen him the Netflix show the Emmy ways and like all that I really like those kind of shows like competition shows I don't know like not the adventure competition shows because that gives me too much anxiety this like makeup stuff it's just fun I mean it still gives you like a little bit of like <laughs> it's like the good kind it's not like the vomit Stress. I want to put a little bit extra in this part because I had a blemish there. Okay, the skin definitely looks mad. It has a very different experience for sure. And it does give a little bit of extra coverage. I want to clarify that I'm using a luminous foundation. Pageant, it's more like our novella. It's like very matte skin, which this reminds me to that a little bit. Like, I don't know if you have seen that novella meme. Like, it's so dramatic. And we grew up with novellas, of course. It's heavy. It's, he it's definitely heavy. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Fernando! No! They're fun, they're fun. Some of them are really fun. I like it like when we do like this, but I think I like it better when I do it with the brush, like directly. It's a little bit easier to blend. I mean, this is looking kind of nice. Getting together, let's have some hope. Okay, with the nose, I did see that it was more like, like just this. This is not a fly, at least for me. I'm gonna contour it a little bit. They need to have some mercy on us. Well, at least on me. I think I put too much. Okay, I'm gonna do a cream blush. So we still kind of get back that glow, even though that it's pretty mad. Oh my god, I'm starting to like it a lot. We're gonna set the face. Now we're gonna take the powder. Some people use more than one powder, but honestly, trying to make steps for the sake of it. The puff, and then I'm just gonna go all over my face. I want to do half of the face, because this is why I'm really gonna make it mad and leave the other one so we can really see it before and after. No powder, you can see the shine there. With powder, mad AF. It's a nice look. I'm gonna do the other side. I mean, this is a big difference. Ugh, this little lot. Can you behave like your sisters? I do things my own way. Final thought. The thing that I like is that you don't look like fried chicken, which some people will really appreciate. On the other hand, it's pretty matte. It looks very brushed. It does feel a little bit dry. Would I do it again? The answer is maybe. I mean, I used to do I, I used to do it back in the day. So it really depends on your taste. Like if you would like to have more like a full on matte. And I think it's actually worth trying because it doesn't really hurt. If you have the stuff in your house, try it. Pick it out a little bit and see if you like it. And maybe you're like, Jesus, why I was looking like bright stuff in my face? This looks so much better. Or maybe you're like, dude, I need a little bit more like doing a go with skin. Or maybe you want something in the middle because it could also be something in the middle. Like something like this, add some shine to it. For example, in the little nose, I love that shine. Like a little shine. So yeah, yeah, and you can also make it your own. We don't have to be like, it's only the cloud skin. This video is part of a series of me publishing in YouTube on Monday to Friday and see if I don't collapse it because I need to set up the idea for the video and edit the same day. And we're gonna see if that's a success or if I have a nervous 
breakdown. So if you want to stay tuned for that, I will suggest you to subscribe and <laughs> leave a positive comment. Also, if you did have fun, I will highly suggest you to see this transformation where I try to become a Ralph Lauren model even though that I don't look like one. Or, if you want more stuff related to makeup, these are the most natural eyelashes I've ever tried for now. Much love. Peace.